And let me tell you about one of them in particular, an individual fell asleep at work and still got unemployment benefits. Another one urinated off the top of a, a school building, still got an insurance, but un 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 unemployment insurance or unemployment benefits. And um, another one, uh, another one violated, uh, violently swept a uh, files off of a cabinet. Uh, so these are some of the, the things that the, the labor department are giving them unemployment is benefits for. So this bill is an attempt to try to fix that. We're working with the Missouri Chamber uh, to work on some language that would redefine some things in statute. I'd be glad to answer any questions. Any questions of the bill sponsor? Seeing none, do you have any witnesses? I do. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, Tracy King here representing the Missouri Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and we would like to go on record in support of the bill. Um, unemployment benefits, which are 100% paid by the employers, are meant as temporary financial benefit for workers who are unemployed through no fault of their own. But within the last year or so, we have been inundated with some calls from our members and even non-members that are concerned that some benefits are being given that go beyond the original intent of the law. And I've done some research, and these are just a few of the cases that we were able to pull, and I'm not going to go through all of them. But there's been some uh, unbelievable decisions that have gone out, and not just by the Department of Labor. Some the Department of Labor has denied, and the actual uh, Court of Appeals have awarded, um, but that have gone out that we believe are against the intent. Um, one is employee stealing. Um, we have a city who had a, an employee who was caught stealing, um, was witnessed uh, stealing from a concession stand from a, uh, that was run by a local soccer association, a nonprofit organization for kids. Um, they filed a police report, decided not to press charges because the amount was so minimal. But another employee um, also admitted and turned in a report that they were eating the concession and, and stealing from this group. Um, the courts ruled that the city had justification in firing the employee, but they did not rise to the level of misconduct to deny them from the unemployment benefits. Um, you also have um, other examples. We have school employees who are around children all day long who are using profanity on a regular basis, words that I won't repeat in your committee, Mr. Chairman. Um, but the courts did rule that um, while it was inappropriate, it was common language and um, it did not rise to the level of misbehavior. I can go on, a lot of these deal with um, cases where people leave work without authorization or chronic absenteeism. Um, in many cases, um, it was just determined to be poor judgment. Um, in all of these cases though, either the appeals tribunal or the court of appeals cites our current definition of misconduct and states that the behavior doesn't rise to the level of misconduct. So we've come to a couple conclusions. First of all, it, we believe that the definition of misconduct is too broad, broad and does not provide clarity on when a behavior is severe enough to deny um, benefits. And secondly, the burden of proof is on the employer. And while we're not asking you to shift that burden of proof, um, the standard is so high that all the employee has to do is say, I didn't intend to do it. Um, and or in the case of involuntary quit, just show back up to work. There's a court case that the department uses because they're given direction. And if they, they leave um, work for however long, as long as they show back up and say they want to work again, um, you don't have to take them back, but you do have to pay them unemployment. I think most of these behaviors, we could all agree in our common sense, do qualify as misconduct, that they're being rewarded. Um, and that raises the cost to the employers and also contributes to the insolvency of the fund. And in the end, I think it's about the integrity of the program and the solvency of the fund, the fund which right now is three quarters of a billion dollars insolvent. So uh, we want to make sure that the program works the way that it's intended to and uh, that employees and workers who are truly unemployed do no, do no fault of their own receive their benefits. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. <coughs> 